sometimes, even when we're out in nature, we appreciate a little shelter. There are four critical elements to creating a haven for wildlife in your backyard. Food, water, places to raise young, and shelter. And everything needs shelter at some point, from rainstorms in the summer to cold winters and protection from predators. And some animals take their shelter around with them wherever they go. Other critters use what they can find in nature, such as cavities in trees, brush piles, stacks of rocks, and evergreen trees. But with the loss of so much of our natural habitat, it's important that we do what we can to help replace some of those natural shelters. And today, we're gonna to talk specifically about providing shelter for birds. Sometimes, places to raise young, like nesting boxes, will also serve as shelter in the wintertime. Adult birds will gather in boxes and share their body warmth. Unfortunately, sometimes this can be deadly. If too many birds crowd into the same box, the ones on the bottom can suffocate. Those boxes aren't meant to hold a large number of adult birds. That's where roosting boxes come in handy. They're designed to give shelter for a number of birds safely. It'll give them protection from weather and from predators, and it'll keep them from hurting each other. First, you'll notice a couple of design elements that make them different from nesting boxes in really important ways. First thing you'll notice is that the hole's on the bottom. This allows the birds to enter from the bottom without piling on top of each other. Next, you'll notice that there's no ventilation on the top. This keeps the warm air from escaping. Another great design element of a roosting box are the perches. Here's an example of one without its front. So you can see that there are a number of perches in here for individual birds. You can also see on the back, for in the case of woodpeckers, it's scored so they can cling to it. The size of the hole on the roosting box is going to determine what kind of bird uses that box. For chickadees and nut hatches, the smaller birds, you probably want to go with a hole about one inch. For birds such as bluebirds and cardinals, go about an inch and a half. And for larger birds like woodpeckers, flickers, and morning doves, you want to go even larger. There are plans for this roosting box on smelllikedirt.com if you want to build one yourself. Or you can buy one. This is a great example of a roosting box that you can get at your local bird store. In the winter time, it's a roosting box and see, you can see the perches on the inside. But in the springtime, when it gets warm, take the perches out and then flip the door around and it becomes a nesting box. So the next time you run inside to get out of the rain or the cold, I hope you'll remember our feathered friends in your backyard and get them a roosting box. Thank you for joining us. My name is Carol Bowie Jackson and here's hoping you smell like dirt. In the spring, when it starts warming up, take this off. <laughs> sit, sit, sit. Peppy, peppy, easy, easy.